So today we've come out to have a look at this four bedroom detached house, uh, which is in Richard Walker Close. The property has a nice large garage to one side and then the gardens are formed to this side here. Let's go inside and take a look. So here we are in the entrance hall, which is quite a nice size actually. You've got an understairs storage cupboard and the landing is part galleried, so it's a nice feeling of space, which you'll see as I scan up. And then you've got doors off here to the cloakroom, study, kitchen, diner and sitting room. And there's Jasmine the cat just uh, showing us round. So the first room we've come into is the sitting room, which could equally be a sitting room stroke dining room. It's plenty large enough for that. It's also triple aspect. You've got those French doors at one end leading onto a patio, two windows which uh, are either side of the gas fireplace. And then if I spin round, you'll see there's another two windows to the front here. So really lovely, bright room. And those windows either side of the fireplace look out onto the gardens. Just thought I'd show you the room from the other direction as well, so you can get an idea. And the door to the far end there is back into the hallway, and the door just here on the right is into the kitchen. So as you can see, I've just come into the kitchen, which has a range of fitted units, including a built-in dishwasher, built-in washing machine. You've got a double oven there and gas hob with cook hood over. There's also a fridge freezer integrated as well. You have that central peninsula unit, door to the garden and then if I just spin around on this side you'll see the dining area. Then you can see the dining room and the kitchen is obviously open plan and the door behind me is into the sitting room so for entertaining it's the perfect house because there's a really good flow to it. So just popping into the study so you can get an idea of the size of that. Nice big window overlooking the front area there space for a good sized desk, filing cabinet, etc. So as you can see, we've now come upstairs. There are four bedrooms upstairs, including two which have ensuite facilities and of course the family bathroom. What I really like about this house is that the four bedrooms are of a quite an equal size. So if you had children, shouldn't be any arguments over who has what room. So you've got bedrooms three and two over there, bedroom four behind me, and then we're just gonna spin round and have a look in the master bedroom, which is just here. So this is the master bedroom, bedroom one. You have a window to the front, which is to the front aspect, and a door to the right, which is to the ensuite. And I'll just show you the room from the other side. There we go then, that's the master bedroom from the other side. And you'll just see on the left hand, you've got two built-in wardrobes with shelving and hanging space. And then this is the ensuite facility to the master bedroom. And say so there is a second ensuite to the second bedroom. So here we are in bedroom two. Again, it's a guest bedroom really because it has an ensuite facility. You've got a triple wardrobe to the left hand side. And if I just turn the camera, you'll see that window overlooks the rear garden. So here we are in the ensuite to the guest bedroom or second bedroom. Quite a luxury to have two ensuites in a house and a family bathroom, but brilliant for first thing in the mornings, I would say. So this is bedroom three which again has a window to the front aspect and what you can't quite see is there's a recess to the right hand side so space there for a wardrobe as well and then finally this is bedroom four which again for a fourth bedroom you know is not a bad size at all and that has a window to the side aspect then this is the family bathroom as you can see it's got a loo wash hand basin and bath and shower over the bath as well with screen so just popping out of that kitchen door into what you can see is a quite a large patio area and the main garden is formed to the side of the house as you can see it's laid mainly to lawn plenty of space for seating etc And then those gardens from the other side, you can see it's not overlooked at all from the back. And in actual fact, from the other side, there's nothing looking into the garden. So it's surprisingly private. So that's the end of our tour here at Richard Walker Close. If you'd like to come and have a look at this super family home, do just give us a call on 01284 755 26.